Today we are here to discuss the structure of amino acids. As known to us, amino acids they form the building block of all protein molecules. Moreover, there are 20 different types of amino acids found in nature. So the question that arises is what is the basic structure of all these amino acids? Let's have a look. As known to us, all amino acids are basically derivative of the simple organic compound that is methane. Each methane molecule has a central carbon atom to which four hydrogen atoms are found attached. This carbon we will call as the alpha carbon atom. When one of the hydrogen atoms of this methane molecule is replaced by an amino group that is a NH2 group, the second hydrogen atom of the methane molecule is replaced by carboxylic group that is a COOH group. The third hydrogen atom is replaced by another functional group that is the alkyl group. This alkyl group is represented by the alphabet R because it may vary from amino acid to amino acid. Then the structure that comes up forms the basic structure of all amino acids. It is to be noted here since all amino acids invariably have an amino group and an acid group hence the name amino acid. Also all amino acids are derivative of methane where one hydrogen atom is replaced by the amino group, the other by the carboxylic group, the third hydrogen remains as it is while the fourth hydrogen is replaced by an alkyl group. This alkyl group is variable thus just by a change in this alkyl group the name, structure, function hence the property of amino acid may change. Just a change in this R group has given birth to 20 different types of amino acids in nature. Let us take few examples. For example, if this R is represented by a hydrogen atom, then the corresponding amino acid formed is called as glycine. If the alkyl group is represented by the CH3 group, then the corresponding amino acid is called as alanine. If the R group is represented by CH2OH group, then the corresponding amino acid formed is called as serine. Thus, all amino acids have having an amino group, a carboxylic group, a hydrogen atom, all attached to the alpha carbon atom, which is basically the carbon atom of the methane molecule. The only thing that is varying is this alkyl group and a variation in this alkyl group is giving birth to different types of amino acids. So, we know just by a change in this alkyl group, 20 different amino acids are found in nature. We will discuss all the 20 amino acids here, but before that, it is to be noted that all amino acids will have an alpha carbon atom to which an amino group will be attached. The amino group in all the amino acids will be represented by blue color. All of them will have a carboxylic group attached to this alpha carbon atom which will be shown by green color in all the amino acids. All of them have a hydrogen atom shown by black color attached to this alpha carbon atom. The only thing that will vary will be this alkyl group which will be shown by pink color. Just by changing this alkyl group we will see how 20 different amino acids are found in nature. The first amino acid shown here is arginine which is also represented by the abbreviation ARG or the capital alphabet R. The next amino acid is glutamine. You can again see here even glutamine has an amino group, a carboxylic group, a hydrogen atom attached to this alpha carbon atom. The only thing that is varying is this alkyl group. Just a change in the alkyl group has changed the name, structure, property of the amino acid and this amino acid is called as glutamine which can also be represented by the abbreviation GLN. Another amino acid phenylalanine. Here you will note 
that this alkyl group can also be an aromatic compound as found in phenylalanine abbreviated by PHE or the capital A alphabet F. The fourth amino acid is tyrosine. Again, the R group here is an aromatic compound. The fifth shown here, tryptophan. Again, it has an aromatic compound here. Then comes lysine. This is glycine where the alkyl group is represented just by a hydrogen atom. Alanine by a methyl group. Histidine. Serine. Proline. Glutamic acid. Aspartic acid. Threonine. Cysteine. Methionine, leucine, asparagine, isoleucine, and valine. Thus, in all the 20 amino acids here, we see all of them invariably have an amino group shown by the blue color attached to the alpha carbon atom. All of them invariably have a carboxylic group shown by green color attached to the alpha carbon atom. All of them had a hydrogen atom also attached to this alpha carbon atom and a variable alkyl group. Just a variation in this alkyl group brings about so many variety of amino acids. Thus, in nature, we have 20 different amino acids found, each of them having its own unique structure and property.